How are you doing? This is Mike here again. I wanted to show you another really cool blues lick that you can learn. Easy blues lick. And uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan did this one a lot. A lot. Most blues players use it, and rock players. Um, really simple, and I'll try to give you the best explanation I can and show you the best way so you can learn it and add it to uh, to your guitar playing and kind of spruce it up a little bit. And I'll play it for you normal so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so that those were that's basically the lick, and you can switch that lick around as many times as you want. You can do whatever with it. And I want to show you the fingering of it, especially this part. Now what I'm doing is the first part, and I'll get up close so you can see my fingering. Now what I do is on the first part is we're in the key of A, we're in the key of A, and which is like like um, all of them I've been doing, I guess, have been in A, but. Um, so you're five up, and we're in A. What you do is in the A bar chord position, I take my fingering, and the first part of the lick, what I'm doing is going up to here on the neck. I got one finger here, one finger down here. See that? So for an A, I count up one, two, three, three frets up with that finger, four frets up with your middle finger, and fret it right there. And you strum those two strings together. Now what's cool about that one is you can slide it up. But it's those two. Then I go down to the dot and instead of having it separated, then I have them both in the same fret. And I strum both of them together. Then I go down to frets, do the same thing. And then I land on the A note, right there with one finger. So all together it's... Now what's cool about that is you can add, in blues jamming, you can add any kind of flavor to that you want using those same exact chord or mini chords there. They're like partial chords basically. So if I'm in A, I can go. Now I was just using the same chords that I showed you there. We'll show you one more time. Those two. Then bar them together, back down bar here, then landing on the A root note. And that'll work in whatever key you're playing in, say you're in G, you can do it here. Now another thing that I'm doing too at the end of that lick is uh, when I'm on that last one, that one right there. Before I land on the root note of A right here, at the end of the lick, I kind of pull up on it. I strum it, then pull up on it. And it gives it that bluesy type feel to it. So if I'm jamming, you know, really, really cool sound. Um, but great for any kind of blues licks that you want to do if you're jamming. So whatever you want to do, just using those one, two, three, three chords and landing on the root note A at the end of it or whatever key you're in. Anyway, I hope you were able to see that and I hope it helped you and uh, have a great day and I hope that uh, these videos are helping your playing out. I really hope that it is helping you. Anyway, take care. Bye.